What's going on guys? So in this video, we're gonna go over four ways to fix your aim assist going into chapter three. Uh, chapter two, the end of it in season eight, pretty much had some bad issues with aim assist on PC where it would just turn off altogether. So in this video, we're gonna go over these four ways and how you can possibly fix it. It's not gonna fix it for everybody and it's not off. It's just gonna make it a lot more stable. Um, we have, there's gonna be a range of ways to fix it from easy to hard. You could actually do pretty much all of them uh, and give you a really good chance of having really good aim assist. Before we get into that, we're gonna also check out what aim assist is and why it makes a difference. But before we get to this video, please like, subscribe, and comment. It really helps out the channel. Um, I also, it'll help you get some, you could enter a giveaway on my Twitch uh, and, and by commenting on my YouTube videos, you're gonna gain points. So uh, go over to my Twitch and say hi and let me know that you commented and you'll get uh, some entries into the giveaway. 5K V bucks every month. You could either choose a gift card or the 5,000 V bucks. But let's get on to the video with the first, first with how aim assist uh, actually works. So this is a map I made. It's a you can see the numbers on the screen, and this is gonna be a good place for you to test out some stuff and get used to how aim assist works. All right. So there's um some different core ways aim assist is gonna work based on different weapons, but they're they all pretty much the same. So if you watch when I pass this guy, look at the stars. They're gonna move in the background when I, only when my crosshair is like either really close to him or touching him. And that's when aim assist is activating. So there's two forms of aim assist. There's auto rotation like this, where the crosshair automatically moves for you. You can see as I get closer, that's gonna move a lot more. SMG aim assist is really strong. Why we have a lot of mouse and keyboard players complain about it because it is somewhat auto rotating for you. But, um, so that's one way. The other way is slow down. And you can see when I hit the guy, it slows down a lot. It's gonna weaken the further back you go until it's almost unnoticeable. You get it for about 140 meters. So actually, if you go to this guardrail right here, and then those guys out there will be um, exactly out of aim assist range. So on console, if you have a little stick drift, guy will move your crosshair for you as you see he didn't so you have to be strafing for it to work we're gonna move with this guy and you're gonna see the background like move while i'm doing that so that's how that works knowing this um when i move the mouse aim assist no longer works slow down or or auto rotation now it comes back but if you're in a game there's a lot of people having problems with it not coming back. So one of the, so way number one to get your aim assist to stay on and not turn off is take your mouse and unplug it. That's it. You can still do everything you need in settings and all your other stuff. And you just have to, hopefully you have a, maybe you get a mouse that has an off button or get like a USB switch that like could turn it on and off. So you could turn it on when you need it. But a lot of people are having problems where it, aim assist will just turn off completely. Um, either I don't know if it's both aim assists or or just the one. But yeah, that's that's what's happening. Way number two is a, is a fairly easy one too. So what you're gonna do is mostly you're probably playing performance mode because all the pros do it. The problem with performance mode and Direct X11 for that matter is they have um, full screen. They have to be on full screen exclusive mode work properly. And I noticed at the beginning of the season, I wasn't getting aim assist, where I was having inconsistent aim assist, and it was because my full screen exclusive mode was not working. So if you switch it to Direct X12 beta, and then reset your game, this could, Direct X12 doesn't work off of full screen exclusive, it, it optimizes regular full screen mode. So we're gonna shut the game off and reset. All right, we're back in, and as you can see, the background is a little bit more, um, more dynamic it's using a little it's more 3d settings are available so you're going to want to go in here change these settings we're going to start at the bottom so ray tracing always off ELSS we want on performance mode that's going to give you the best uh, frames Nvidia reflex um, on with boost that's going to give you also the best the le le least latency this you don't need on um, this do whatever you want. I don't want that on anymore. So I'm trying to save that. Um, and then everything else, pretty much, copy this and uh, V-Sync off, motion blur off, 
FPS. You can keep on if you want to see how your FPS is doing. All right, so post-processing low, effects low, textures I keep high, and that's because it actually puts more work onto my GPU than on my CPU. Um, since we're in the this low reflex mode, it's a little better. Um, and then um, shadows off, and then view distance all the way up. For me, you do you. You can put a lot of people put it on near. It doesn't really affect if you're even a computer, it shouldn't be bad, but. Direct, this is going to have some drawbacks. It's not as as uh, performance friendly as um, performance mode, obviously. It's not going to take out all like, the little blades of grass that are going to cause lag and stuff. But it's going to be more stable if you're having problems and don't want to go through all the trouble of the last thing on this video to do. So that's up to you. So we're going to put it back to um, performance mode. And I'm going to hit apply. And then I'm going to turn off my game. And I'm going to show you way Three. to fix your aim assist so if you don't have it already you're going to download the steam app and then you're going to go into big picture mode and you're going to go to settings controller settings and then you're going to set up your controller I'm going to turn this on to a different color so we can see it easier on my controller. You see that? And there's a, there's a reason why I do it. You, don't, you can do whatever color you want. You can turn... I would leave one of the colors on, though, just so you can see it. And we're going to exit big picture mode. Close this out, and it should stay open, though, in the bottom right. And you can tell it's open because I got that purple color on my controller. So it's, it almost looks white for you guys because it's pretty bright, but... I'll just turn the light off so you can see that purple light. If I open up Fortnite, so now that we reloaded Fortnite, we're going to be able to back. We're going to see our settings. We should be on performance mode again. We we'll lose a lot of those settings. I also keep the textures high here, meshes low for less input, all that stuff. And we're going to show. So the point is, I've reloaded Fortnite. You can see my, I have, Fortnite has it taken over. You look, it's no longer lit up. It only has that one little white light. So that means Fortnite has control of it. Reopen this, minimize it, back to Fortnite. Setting, full screen. You can see purple lights. Purple lights. That means that means that Steam has taken over my controller, and it has a lot more. It seems for me, at least, I, I have nobody that confirmed this. But if you look, like if you try it out, it's going to feel a lot more stable than any of the other than the, than how a Fortnite naturally does it. Fortnite was a little late to get the. PS5 compatibility at least. So this might work for any controller. They might, even though like it's a PS5 for me that I noticed it on, it might work for PS4, it might work for Xbox. So just try out your controller and see if it works for you. And that's it. Just play as normal and it should work fine. All right, so now we're gonna go over reason four. So basically what you do is you're gonna check to see if your volume button comes up. See, I'm in full screen mode. That's not supposed to happen. So, full screen, that means I'm not getting full screen exclusive. Now, usually I will, um, it, it works fine. If I just reset my game, it's because I went out and back into full screen mode. So I, I lo you lose full screen exclusive mode that way. But there is a way to fix it. Or if, permanently change it but you'll have to reset your game if you ever go to windowed mode or something so we're gonna go open this piece this guide i'm gonna we're gonna put the link in the description how to get to it and everything but it's from Al alexander the dad you can join his discord he's a real cool guy he'll answer questions and stuff in there but let me find the page i think it's around here so all right it's page 106 it's full screen exclusive mode 
So we're going to go step by step on how to get your your PC to work, your Fortnite to work with a full screen exclusive. So here's a little description of what happens. Full screen exclusive mode reduces latency and increases FPS. FSE works only with Fortnite and DirectX 11 and performance mode as this is Deluxe DirectX 11 also. So that's a little misunderstanding. Um, actually performance mode is DX11. Uh, a lot of people think it's its own thing, but no, it's just, it's DX11 just optimized to not have all like the frills of like the game the hot load textures and all that. So DX12 does not support FSC and instead uses full screen optimization. So that's basically, it means it works better. So it, it runs as many frames without having full screen exclusive. More info is on the FSC can be found here. So if you want, go to this link and check it out. So now we're gonna go to the C drive. Follow this um, path, uh, program files. Epic Games. I'll just hit up slowness. All right, there. There we go. Fortnite. Fortnite game. Binaries and Win64. So for all four of these, first for Fortnite client Win64 shipping, we're going to do one thing. It doesn't mention in here, but this is supposed to help. Um, Go to advanced. Oh, where, where's, where's this? Up? Let's see, all right. So we'll select properties. Click compatibility tab. Run as administrator. Select that and apply right away. That's gonna make the game run a little better. So when you run the game, it's gonna be in as an administrator. So just do that. So next, we're gonna, we're in compatibility tab. Change settings for all users. So that's down here. Um, change. So um, select disable full screen optimizations. That's selected. And then change high DPI. Override high DPI scaling behavior. Click that. And then hit OK on everything. Now for the next three, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to do all these steps. You don't have to put these to run as administrator, though. Just the, just the one on top here. You're going to sort it. Um, so that these are you're just the, pretty much the ones with the Fortnite icon should be the ones you do that for. You have to do it for all four or this doesn't work. Then um, you're going to go down here. You're going to copy all this. Copy You're going to open up Notepad. Paste it. Copy this FSC registry tweaks dot bat. You're going to save this to um, to a folder, whatever you just, you just have to know what folder it's going to be in. It's save. I already have it saved in here. I'm pretty sure I'll save it again. Yeah. Replace it. And then you're going to open it up. The documents. So the one from today, I did this, uh, this used to be the name of it. So you right click on it, run as administrator, and it's going to run some scripts or whatever it is run the bat file run all these things and you should be good. I'm just reset your game after that. And if it, and then try it out, hit the volume button. If this comes up still, then try this. If it still isn't working, then close Fortnite. go into Explorer, navigate to percent. So we're going to go percent local app data percent. Then rename the folder Fortnite game to Fortnite game old. Fortnite game, so change this to Fortnite game old. Um, then restart Fortnite and reconfigure the display settings. So it's going to get rid of some of your settings, and it's going to, but it's going to clean out all your cache settings. So that's good. And then re I'd reset the whole system again, and that's it. Um, that should be all the stuff to fix this. So, all right, and that's it, guys. So uh, that's all we have for today. Um, just you could run all four of those together uh, except for you can't run dx12 and, and performance mode at the same time but all the other ones i, I do together i turn off my mouse i turn uh I, I have performance mode on with full screen exclusive mode and i have steam open in the background it gives you a little delay but it's not much and it's a lot more stable so it's actually worth it but um that's it guys please like subscribe and comment 
uh, really helps out the channel um, more than you know. And go check me out on Twitch again, and you can play some creative with me, Turtle Sean Tom TTV. Just add me and comment in the chat, and I'll add you up. All right, have a good night, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Cars and paper plates Hate to say but I'm too old